Hell of putting it. Yeah, but we'll, we'll go with this. So hopefully, hopefully the audio levels are in a reasonably good place. I, it's a bit low, but I can fix that in post. I can't do the other way around. So I'm going to download T-Launcher, which is this Minecraft, um, essentially Minecraft cracked launcher that people seem to be a bit on the edge about whether they think it's legitimate or not. There's a popular YouTube video uh, claiming that this full stop is a virus. I don't know if I agree. I'm going to investigate it. So there's people saying that this is not safe. There's people saying it's safe. One guy's even like made a video of shilling it. And then it's like, yeah, you know, actually, I don't know. So I've heard a couple of things that are supposedly suspicious about this. So first thing I will say in favor of this launcher is that it's three platforms. Most malicious stuff is not going to be. Like, most malware will only run on Windows. Because it's relatively difficult, depending on what kind of malware you have. It's basically impossible to make a cross-platform stealer because the information you want to steal is stored in different places. And it is an order of magnitude more difficult to steal Chrome cookies on operating systems that are not Windows simply because of how Windows' insecure app data architecture works. So we're going to find out what's going on here welcome this looks fairly okay facebook page okay well that doesn't matter another thing is supposedly this deleted someone's minecraft folder once again i don't find that to be too fishy download or install java so it's now it's getting its own java and some people think that's fishy so is it i don't know you know most Business software comes with built-in Java. Uh, to me, that's not fishy, but to some people, apparently, this is a fishy. So we're going to see. We've got Glasswire going. Going to hopefully find out if anything fishy is going on. We're going to complete this. There we go. Java. Res. So it's phoning home. That, that's okay. As long as it's only phone, phoning home. Oracle. Oh, that's... It's an old version of Java. And it's an Oracle signed version, which I believe is prohibited for commercial use or something. Some reason why people don't like that. Also, just hashtag fuck Oracle. But, okay. So those are both hitting. You know, nothing too concerning so far. But we'll keep watching. So, there's some questionable high DPI support where it's sort of tiny. But that's, that's okay. So, username. Let's just go for Eric because it's taken, but that sort of thing with Cracked Minecraft is how it works. Now, more accurately, it should be called offline mode, because the way Minecraft doesn't have any DRM, so basically, you're, it actually has a built-in crack, which is that you can run it in offline mode with no password and just the username, and the only problem with that is that you can't join multiplayer servers, unless you do join them, but uh, you they have to change something with online mode it's sort of odd i know they try and discourage people from running cracked servers but you can still do it so this is downloading and we're gonna find out i guess if there's anything fishy and honestly say i do not get the vibe it's like it's fishy in the sense that it's a cracked launcher and that they are violating copyright so we can enter the game now i don't i don't care about setting us in now, something that is fishy is you can you can log into T Launcher with your actual Minecraft account if you have a legitimate Minecraft account. I would not recommend doing that because you should don't enter your paid account details in here. I don't think they're doing anything fishy, but you don't know. So we're gonna find out. Oh, uh, what's that heading? Okay, that's that's Mo Yang. That's okay. Oh, and it is using OpenGD. Okay, that's good. Uh, so yeah. Java runtime alpha. So if there is anything suspicious, it's this Java runtime. So let's just... No, I know the game's going to work, but I just want to... First of all, let's just see. Game... Does the game work as Avatar? Doesn't mean it's legitimate, but if the game doesn't work, that's a huge... Re... Oh. Oh. Okay, that's... No, virus total. We can actually... Directly... Oh, we'd have to pay to do that, so we'll have to... We'll do it the old-fashioned way. That's okay. I don't need Glassware to make my videos for me. I can do it. Oh, and VMware fixed the mouse bug. And yeah, the game's running 
okay, I mean 20 FPS, but we are playing this on VMware, so that's not really surprising that it doesn't run all that good because VMware's graphics virtualization is limited, but yeah, so here we go. Game's working perfectly fine. Probably actually improve the frame rate if I turn down the settings a bit. So on a surface level, everything looks okay. But we don't we don't stick to the surface level. So let's see runtime. Java runtime alpha Windows SHA1 comp legal. So a Java W would be the magic file. Let's find out. Drag Java W zero. Comments. Okay, so people are just voting into safe behavior. There's nothing fishy going on here. Nope. Acme Technologies. Eh, that's a tiny bit questionable, but white has this been bundled with other Minecraft launches? I think we found white launcher. <laughs> this is like the antithesis of security. Just yeah, okay. Okay, so I guess I guess this file doesn't exist anymore. But okay, it's still probably not a virus. Oh, I don't know how we ended up here. Probably ads. Okay, so people are like, here you go. Get Minecraft free. Look, I don't, I don't recommend. Pirating Minecraft. It's not even an expensive game, and I, I I know you can get premium accounts for less money if you really have to. But if you if you absolutely need to, this is probably fine. It doesn't seem like it's it's not doing anything. I think they have they're like they have a lot of features. Okay, so this will prevent you from using malicious mods. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Don't do that. Don't, if you have a Mojang account, do that. Uh, protection against insecure servers. Even Mojang has a blacklist. But CIS, what is a CIS server? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually... You know, I actually have to give these guys some credit for this, because... That's legitimately clever that someone created a Minecraft server to fish people's credit card numbers. I would have, I would have never thought of doing that. So, you know, I think that's good on T-Launcher for having some protection here. Like, I still, I can't endorse what they're doing, but I, I don't see any, I don't really see any red flags. Now, what I will say, as well, is that... This only applies to this version of T-Launcher. Like, the, the real problem with cracked Minecraft is just type this in, uh, and immediately we have a fake site. And I will bet you anything that this is not going to be... Maybe, maybe this is just an ad site. But like, 90% of the time, when you see something like that, and then we drop these... Let's drop these into virus total. And those, I wouldn't be so confident or safe. So, the real problem with Cracked Anything is that... You're pretty... You have a very limited way of knowing. Okay, maybe this one is... But it's, it's an old version, and you have... Malshare. So, so, these guys do think it's... I don't know. But you have very limited ways of knowing what is real. So, there's one fake... And then we can find more. Maybe if we weren't using ping, we'd begin. tlauncher.org, tlauncher.org, uh, tlauncherco.com. That's a fake site. I don't know if there's anything malicious on there, but still, like, you don't. Digital trends, tlauncher PC. This is another. See, this is what a fake site looks like. And we're going to down. Oh, we're now on Up My Chrome, which is another site that doesn't look safe. We've got fake. Chrome extensions. This is... Oh, no, it is a fake Chrome extension. It just is a fake... So how do I even... Oh, part of the problem is that I'm not, not even using Chrome. So let's go back to Chrome and install our fake T-Launcher to Chrome. 
here you go. This is another sign that uh, whatever you're looking at is a scam. Is this an ad or is this actually... It actually went to the real website. That's... You know, I can give him credit for not doing something super sneaky there, but... Like, this is, this is what a fake site looks like. Oh, here we go. Minecraft Classic. You free games. I will not be let... Okay. And this is... They've like Mr. Oh, this is actually... This is real. Uh, an NFT game. No thank you. And now it's completely bogging down the virtual machine. Is this actually... Rolling? And you've got all these... Oh, that's that's interesting. Those are some interesting ads. Eh, this is a super sus website. Did they actually like? Is this actually just embedded? This is actually like classic to Minecraft.net. How would they even? Okay, it, do it doesn't quite work properly, but. I want to. I want to try actual class. Like it would have to be ported into a different. They be ported into HTML. So actually, okay. So there actually is a classic Minecraft in HTML. I assume. Add cesspool scam sites. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the home page, where we can learn about modern web design. I think this is a real close button. Is it a real close button? Okay. And we can see some absolutely disgusting games for kids. Don't play any of this. Okay. Miami GTA Simulator. That that looks kind of interesting because these guys will... They'll knock off various games and they'll be there. And they just shove ads down your throat. It's even got sound. Vegas Crime City Simulator. Okay. Like this game is made by someone else and then they just they just steal it and put ads on it. But still, you know, this is this is fine for what it is. Okay, the mouse controls are terrible, but that's because of it's because of VMware. Okay. Got him. Got some cash. Oh it's, Oh, so it is enter. Down plus push. Now I got a tank. I'm taking you guys down. I'm blowing the whole city up. Okay. You slap them button shoe shells. That's what that's what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's enough of whatever this is. It definitely isn't GTA, and I don't think it's in Miami either. Minecraft Survival Online. Let's see. Let's see what we can get from Minecraft Survival Online. Okay, let's just let's actually I wanna see this blind cost shit as well. What is this gonna be? Block party blind costs. Take pride in ownership. Okay. Okay, this looks like some actual game. This is just a Google ad, so it's not going to be anything too offensive. Critic. Craft mine. <laughs> Craft mine. Survival. This is like the video Mudahar made of the, of the Spider-Man <laughs> knockoff game. So it's like, it's like Spider-Human. Okay. Touch the, the hero much. Touch the girl. Okay. Is this even possible? Okay. There you go. We did it. Level complete. Uh, e e oh, is that Five Nights at Freddy's? Did I see Five Nights at Freddy's? That that's a good game. Minecraft Online. Happy Wheels. Well, that's probably just going to be actually Happy Wheels. Oh, Friday Night Funkin'. Among Us or a full? Isn't that Among Us? No, that's that's Among Us. Oh yeah, Full Guys. I, I don't even know that one because I'm a boomer. But okay, T Rex dinosaur jumping. That's like the Chrome one, I guess. Paper Minecraft. Draw one pole. Ew, that's disgusting. Uh, sort it among imposter. You've got to appreciate. Oh, bad roll, piggy. Oh, that's bad piggies. I remember that game. Spinner vs. Zombies. 
maybe do they not know that they, they can just honestly they should just go all the way like they're still infringing copyright this is uh tap the field to plant it there it should be this is like just the the game of like they just this be like perfect for clickbait oh yeah okay it costs varying amounts but we can we can afford the best fidget spinners tap spinner once again I, I, is this like supposed to be a mobile game pretty terrible red imposter crew okay let's find out what we do in red imposter crew definitely not among us okay Okay, this is, like, they're really, this is definitely supposed to be a mobile game. I guess they, I guess they do this to get around the app store? This is like, okay. So how do we, how do we rat out our, I've never actually played Among Us, so I don't, I don't even know how to play the real game. Oh, is this my guy? This one feels like there was more effort put into it. Maybe that's just my... How do I... How do I do the sword thingy? Thing? Is that, is that the whole game? Okay. I think this is probably a good place to wrap this up. Uh, in conclusion, I, I don't think T-Launcher is a virus, and uh, these hilarious uh, game ripoffs are not viruses but they're loaded with ads and if you spend enough time on these sites you probably end up with a hundred different uh unique viruses 